Welcome to Adventures with Mr. and Mrs. B. I am Mr. B, or Jordan. Um, and with me, my glamorous assistant, I'm Mrs. Not very B. glamour. Mrs. B. Hi, nice to meet you, I think. It is meeting you because this is episode one. And as much as we're going to try and have some fun and hope you laugh with us, we're just going to kick it. Well, they might not be watching. True. <laughs> this could just be for the memories. Yeah. Welcome, Mum. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah, let's get to it. Uh, we are going to be trying some snacks, and this could be a regular. Occurrence. Hopefully, you'll enjoy watching us eat these snacks, and you'll go and try them yourself. For context, we've been wandering about town. We haven't figured out a snack deal just yet or a monthly snack sort of thing so we wandering about our local town and we have found some of the delectables from the most random shops uh, so let's get to it let's get to it if there's any um suggestions though put them in it's down there isn't it yes the description box is down there um yeah let us know because i've seen a few online that look really yummy I it. can't order them all, but <laughs> we'll see. You can't, but today we are going to try some, so let's get right to it. Yeah, let's start with Milka L. This isn't new for us. No, we just really enjoy this one, so we thought we'd start with a with a classic. No one even we know really knows about it, though, do they? They don't seem that bothered. <laughs> no, and I can't remember where we discovered them, whether it was not an airport or a European city. I think it might have been Prague. I think okay. it might have been Prague. But, yeah, it's... I'll show you in a minute, but... Don't worry, pictures will be up of everything we try. So. Yeah, I'm not going to try and get it to focus and zoom in and whatnot. It's just not necessary. Here on those other food channels that you watch and you see people eat, like, a half a bite and then put it down... I don't know how well this is gonna go. Can we see this? Just that's how they normally come in a four, but obviously we buy them in the big bar. In the big bar of ten. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're usually found at airports and your European style stores. So, cheers. You eat it like a savage. Oh, I like it. Sorry, I eat like a savage. Was it a pun? Did you try or did you not know? To eat it like a savage? No. <laughs> no it was your pun. Shut up. It's so good. One of our favourite chocolates. Mm. By far. This is like our night time watching a show. Past the look. Yeah. It's, a, it's the night time treat, past the uh, let's get to it. Mm. We're not going to rate, are we? Because that might get us into trouble later. No, because some genius down the line will tell me that you gave something an eight and you gave something else an eight and you said you didn't like it. So, okay. No, we're just going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down or something. Or mm. Oh, all the thumbs up in the world. It's lovely. And if you are watching and giving you know listening to us or watching us give thumbs up give one yourself thanks that's the what? thing isn't it thumbs up thumbs down all yeah that. no thumbs down no need for that so what's next i've never had this before have you no this is one that's new we have not tried this we found this in a american candy store which is I mean, it's not american but they get their um treats don't they yeah i don't know if this is broken or there's supposed to be two. I oh, know there is two. Oh, we're gonna i'm not just gonna yeah oh, okay i'm not sharing a brownie <laughs> you met me before there's our first uh <laughs> there's our first catchphrase <laughs> i'm not sharing a brownie oh it's good Oh no. I wasn't so sure on that first bite. 
I mean, it's not, it's not my take on like the Betty Cropper brownies that I make. I don't know. Falls if on the floor as well. But it's milker. Which is good. It's good, but I might have to try a couple more to let it grow on me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It's not bad though, one pound twenty five. I've paid more for a rubbish like coffee house brownie. I was gonna like drop the name then. <laughs> you can name Pretty it, it doesn't matter. What are they gonna do? Come and find you. No, but there might be something else they want to give me later on. So. <laughs> <laughs> something that I like. That was alright. Yeah. I would thumbs up it still. I think it's good. My thumb is still in the middle. <laughs> okay. This we have had. Uh, yes, yeah, St. Michel Donuts. Fro well, we got them in Costco, didn't we? Mm. But, um... It's well, French. The reason we got them is because we've got a four-year-old that is obsessed with donuts. This Ironically, Ironically he doesn't like these. Yeah. No. Our six-year-old... Because they're cake. Loves them. But yeah, it's not really a donut. But... It, yeah, it's... Very much a TV donut. That's what I think of it as. Thank you very much. I mean, you've already had these, so... We're still trying to place where we've had this taste before. It's like a European thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. You spent many a summer in Portugal. I've spent many a summer in Cyprus. I'm sure it's probably from that neck of the woods. France. No, you know what I mean? Well, they do them in France. They sell them here, so... But they come by like the case load in Costco, don't they? So that they do. I've not tried this one. Oh, sorry. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up. Hmm. The do nose. Hostess, our American friends. These are my new favourite little. Yes, yeah, so whether it's uh, apple pie or cherry pie. Or orange cream. I mean, I don't. Thing. I don't love Twinkies. Oh, I don't mind Twinkies. I don't get it. They last forever. It doesn't matter. The cream's weird. Like I don't love them. But the little cupcakes. Again, we're not technical on this. The cream's weird. Well, I don't know what it is. It's cream. I'm not. A, I bet it isn't. <laughs> like, so it's like a birthday cake, sprinkly. I don't think I can make this not make a mess. Well, let's just see how we do. No, it doesn't want to go that way. No, no, to go that way, that's fine. Oh, you go. see inside, it's like filled with probably the same cream as a Twinkie. Yeah, but, but it's weird, remember? No, but it's weird in a Twinkie. Oh, but that's delightful. <laughs> what makes it birthday cake? Sprinkles. Diet. I think so. The Americans do love a hundred and thousand. What did this cost? A pound. Yeah. But which is a joke because I think you can get three in a pack in the States for a dollar. We will get to complaining about prices in a minute because <laughs> there's something else that comes up. <laughs> but yes, one of your English pounds, the golden nugget. No, I love these. The orange ones are really good. But I still haven't had that fudgy one yet that looks like... I've had that. Oh, have you? Mm. Where? At work. Who with? <laughs> at work? I mean, at work brought one in. We went to the shop and they have American stuff and he brought that in. He goes, oh, I don't know if you tried this or like this. I'm like, oh, I'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. They will be... We usually just get drinks, but for some reason you got the little fudge cake thing. I can't remember the name of it. Bioshis fudge cupcake. Yeah, something like that. 
So what's next? So thumbs up, right? It is a thumbs up, yeah. This is going to be a recurring theme. A lot of it's mm. going to be thumbs up unless it's, for me, vegetables or vegetables. And for you, nuts. Yeah, I'm not a nutty. I don't like dark chocolate. Oh, yeah. But other than Chocolate that. will be a hot topic. But next up? A or B? B. This is, this is B show, right? Okay. Mike and eggs. Now, we've had Mike and Ike's before, but I've never had sour watermelon. Never had sour watermelon. Mike and Ike's were a big thing on a trip we went on many years ago. 2013. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the group that we went with were wild for Mike and Ike's and Doritos. It wasn't Doritos, was it? Pringles. Pringles. Um, sour watermelon, Mike and Ike's. 25 cents in the US. They're charging me 50p here. Oh, that's scandalous. No, it doesn't. Yeah, 50 piece. Absolute chaos. But <laughs> but they are really little, though. There's probably like let's see 10 if in here. Sour. Let's see if they twist our faces up on the camera. I hope they do. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. I'll fight you for them. have an advantage <laughs> why they're near me yeah, but I can grab your broken foot I knew the foot was going to make an appearance she has a broken foot oh I love that yeah that's really nice that's like the right amount of sour not mm, stick to your teeth but it's my good night yeah Keep it away from the kids, because they will go crazy for them. Yeah, we better eat them before mm. <laughs> he bops in. Um, oh, yeah. Thumbs up a million times. I love them. And I'm more of a chocolate girl than I am a sweet. I can take or leave sweets for the most part. You cannot say the same. I'm both. <laughs> sweets and chocolate. Um, as, as well as other you things. You have a problem. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, so. But, yeah. Big, big thumbs up. Delicious. The last snack, food snack, is um, Arizona. Uh, Arizona, what are they? Fruit gums or fruit gums? Fruit snacks fruit mixed snacks. food. Okay. Gluten free. Arizona, the brand, do my favourite brand of uh, peach iced tea. It's a very, very sore spot. No, it's not. Like... Arizona, as a brand, are lovely. They do beautiful drinks. True. We've had... Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so, we've had many a many a holiday where they've come in dead handy. But if it's a peach iced tea, I'm afraid Snapple is the winner. Closely followed by Nest Tea. Somehow we make it work. <laughs> um, and then Arizona. So let's get to they're the all Arizona different. Yeah, they're all different. Um, they're quite small actually. Have you seen that? It's not going to kill you. Don't I, worry. I don't know what this is meant to be. It looks like a oh, can. Hold on. So you got fruit punch, mucho mango, watermelon, grape aid, or orange aid. That's lovely. I don't know what I've got, but we'll see. Like little Wait, hands. Tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiny little. Can they see? Hands. Yeah, just a little yeah, tan type of. thing. Let's go. I don't do nothing for me. At all. I'm excited. I thought I was going to really like them. I quite like it. So I'm gonna try a different flavour just mm -hmm. to you know, be fair. Oh they're not all cans. No. This is like the shell. The fan, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I quite like these. And they're not super mild. Mm, not mild. They're just not as sour as the Mike and Ike. No, I don't mean sour, but like I don't there's, there's not that much flavour to them. 
Well, they are gluten free and fat free, so. Well, let's just yeah, give up now. Slightly less flavour, in our opinion. <laughs> no. I think they're meant to be quite low on calories as well. I mean, let's be for real. Like most of these types of sweets are gluten free, aren't they? You're making a point of telling us it's gluten free. Yeah. And fat free. That's quite an American thing to do, though, isn't it? What, fat free. No, like making a point of stuff. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's fat free but it's filled with sugar it's a it's a thumbs up for me mm, i don't know i'm on the fence i wouldn't give it it's not bad i wouldn't give it a thumbs down but it's not no so on to our last snack I'm of like the evening, and it's not a snack it's a drink it is from okay. the world's greatest iced tea makers arizona and it's a arnold palmer Half and half iced tea, lemonade, strawberry. So there's a lot to factor in in that. But I we think it's disgraceful that they're charging us two pound fifty for that. Yeah, these are normally like ninety nine cents in America, and that is a very happy time for me. Whenever we're there, I get the big old cans. Several that day. We are big iced tea drinkers. Mm. Um, we don't drink real tea. Well, I don't drink real tea or coffee at all. You have the odd cup of tea. Don't we do, you? and. Um, and we're not the biggest alcohol drinkers, so iced tea and but we do like to eat. Yeah. So let's go with Arnold Palmer. I'm not. It's a yeah, half iced tea, half lemonade. Which did he invent it? I don't know. I don't know. I can't open this. Do we need to know? Oh, isn't he clever? Go does on. it smell like? It does. She's very much a sour sort of taster. Like you like <clears throat> harsher flavors, limes, lemons. Why is that harsh? Harsher. What's the word why, I use? Why is it harsher? More harsh. Is that? Am I getting my English? Well, it doesn't matter. I, it, I just don't think it's harsh. Bitter. More bitter flavors. That's don't what I'm going with. Try the drink. Oh, I'm thirsty here. Oh, that is nice. I feel like that's more strawberry lemonade than... Than iced tea. Iced tea. Well, let's see. There's like a hint, but not... Well, that's, I could, oh, I think that's got... I could drink them a lot. I can taste the tea. I think the strawberry lemonade is stronger. I think the tea's a bit stronger. Really? <laughs> yeah. I like it though. Yeah, I could I do. drink that easily. But yes, uh, again, local American candy store charging two pound fifty for a can of drink. It is it's a joke, but if you want the good stuff, you got to pay for it. So, because it was stuff we all, we chose and stuff that we actually wanted, we quite like all of Most it. Of it. If anyone's got any ideas on what we can try that you know, we might not like, or some have the subscription boxes and stuff like that where hmm. you don't enjoy everything, let us know. Put a comment in the box. and Which is down there, right? Obviously, hit the likes. And if you're new to us and you like us and you think we're okay people, <laughs> subscribe. But for now, I think we'll wrap it up. We'll say, we'll keep smiling and say thank you very much for checking us out, sticking around to the end. Thank you. Take care, everyone.